what's up guys and welcome back to another video now today I want to talk about a change that I've made in my life that has improved my productivity more than anything else by a long way this has been the biggest gains in productivity that I've experienced but on top of that and I've tried a lot of things by the way over the years so many different things this has improved my productivity the most and also it's made it easier for me to stick to my nutrition plan and make those sweet sweet muscle gains so let's begin now before I got into coaching I was a software engineer I was a programmer coder okay and coding or programming is very cognitively demanding it takes up a lot of mental brain power to be able to think about the problems and come up with solutions and through doing this job I became uh, I came to realize that the foods that I ate drastically impacted my productivity certain foods w w wouldn't um, would really kill my productivity and certain foods weren't too bad and actually the best thing I found for productivity or at least for you know the mental clarity was to just not eat so I would just wake up have a coffee work for a long time take a break go to the gym come back have another coffee do some more work and for a while actually I just did one meal a day but from a muscle point of view muscle building point of view that is kind of suboptimal so I don't do one meal a day anymore I do something I do a system that I've kind of come up with uh, which uh, I, I explain a little bit about this in a previous video called how I structure my macros built balancing physical and mental performance in this video I don't want to talk about ma macros but decision fatigue okay so decision fatigue if you're not familiar with the term basically you can imagine each day every single one of us starts off with like a hundred units of energy okay we all have a hundred units of energy and how we spend these units determines where we end up in life okay and most people are spending their units of energy on just chores just tasks which are low impact low leverage just don't help them level up in life okay most people are majoring in minor things so one of these things probably the biggest sort of uh, sort of time waster or at least for me was food and deciding what to eat every single day and go about cooking the food etc etc so what I do is first of all I've outsourced cooking okay I don't cook except for steak on the barbecue but that's really easy you just throw it on the barbecue and then it's done but apart from steak I'm not cooking okay I've completely outsourced it I live in Bali uh, we can order things on an app and there's a lot of healthy food choices depending on where you live you might not have that luxury but I'm sure there's a solution out there for you so first of all outsource your cooking but on top of that what I do is I eat the, nearly the same foods every single day so I wake up at the same time each day I go to the gym at the same time each day I eat at nearly the same time each day and the foods that I'm eating are nearly the same each day I eat the same nearly like almost the same Monday to Friday at the weekend I do have a little bit of variety because I'm not a complete savage <laughs> okay but Monday to Friday roughly the same foods every single day and why this is good is because I'm not wasting time on mental energy thinking about oh what should I eat today because what was happening before is I would get hungry and then I'd be like okay it's time to eat and then I would open up the app and then I'd be like oh what do I want to eat and then I'd scroll through the options okay and whilst I'm scrolling I'm seeing lots of bad foods foods that are tempting me which are, which are not on my plan or not fitting my macros or whatever and then my girl would want some food so I was like oh well what do you want and before we know it it's been 30 minutes and we've only just decided what we want to eat and then we need to order the food and then it needs to arrive and then we need to eat it and then the whole time that's taken is like an hour and a half two hours or whatever so to combat this I eat the same foods same time of day nearly every single day at the weekend I have a little bit of variety I, I don't go crazy at the weekend but you know I do have different foods that I wouldn't normally have but Monday to Friday I eat nearly the same foods every single day so I don't have to think about it okay it's very easy I just wake up do my work go to the gym come back do some more work when I get hungry I just I already know what I'm having every single day it's like autopilot so I save mental energy and decision fatigue is why a lot of 
ultra successful people will just wear the same clothes every day. It's the same concept. They don't want to waste mental energy on deciding what outfit to wear. So they just wear the same outfit every single day. And this is the same concept and you can take these principles that they do and apply them to your life to help you level up and progress and move forwards. So eat the same foods every single day. And also you want to be outsourcing your cooking guys, because if you, it just takes up so much time and especially say if you're in business or say if you're making more than 10k a month, you need to be outsourcing that. You've got enough disposable income and your business or your time is far more valuable than the time it is to go to the grocery store, buy the groceries, come back, cook, do wash the dishes, etc. You just need to get that shit off your plate, like literally. <laughs> just get it off your plate. If you're making less than 10k a month, then you should do meal plans, okay? Do your meal plans, go to the grocery store once a week, on a Sunday for example, buy all your groceries for that week, come back, do all your meals for the week, uh, and then you have the same setup where you don't have to think about what you're gonna eat and your food's already ready, you can just, when you get hungry, you can just heat it up, eat it, and then you're good to go. Now, personally, I hate meal prep. I like to eat fresh food. I'm always eating fresh food. I'm not heating food up. I, I don't really like that. If you're like that as well, uh, and you don't enjoy meal prep, but you don't have any other options, good. Just suck it up and just do it because it'll be motivation for you to level up. Because as a man, if you are not at 10K a month right now, that is the bare minimum. A lot of people on Twitter, on X, talk about how, oh, like 10K a month is like the magical goal. Like I'm telling you right now, 10K a month is step number one. 10K a month is like taking your first steps as a kid. It's just the first step, the first milestone. Anyway, that's a whole other video. I don't wanna go into that right now, but if you're under 10K a month, do meal prep. If you're over, or, or if you live somewhere where it's, you've got quite a bit of disposable income, definitely hire a chef or use food apps if you can order healthy food to your house. And what that will do is it will remove the temptation because before when I was scrolling on the app, right, I would see lots of temptations, lots of things which weren't necessarily on, on, on my plan. And also what I found is if I am likely to, likely to cheat, it's gonna be at the end of the day, okay? So remember that analogy where we've got like 100 units of time? As we get towards the end of the day, we're coming into the red zone. And the red zone is where you're more likely to make poor decisions, okay? decisions about what you're gonna eat so if I ever cheat on my nutrition it's at the end of the day the mornings are absolute breeze it's always the end of the day where it's an issue but by eating the same thing nearly the same thing every single day it prevents this because I'm not looking on the app I'm not seeing foods which I um, I don't want to eat. I'm just completely removing the temptation. So re rather than relying on willpower, I've just made the decision ahead of time that, that this is what I'm going to eat. So when it comes to doing my work, I just do my work. When I get hungry, I already know what I'm going to eat. I eat my food, I get back to work, and there's no mental energy and mental bandwidth. And this frees up a lot of time and energy for me to focus on the tasks that are most important to me allows me to focus on the tasks which are more high leverage which is going to help me level up and progress and if you do this as well then you'll get the same benefits you'll get a lot of stuff off your plate and you'll be able to focus on the most important tasks focus on the high level high leverage tasks which are going to help you level up and move you and your business forward so try it i hope it helps and i'll talk to you in the next one